this is a short video just to uh, introduce you to this very exciting open source uh, GitHub project by Gabriel Chua called Rag Explorer. And, um, you know, a big part of large language models, especially going forward, will be data. So it will be data discovery, how to discover data going into data design, how to structure data for large language model fine tuning, and then also data development or data augmentation. So once you have identified where your weaknesses are, you want to improve the data vulnerabilities in that area. And the fourth data is data delivery. And obviously all the attention has been on data delivery. How do we get our data to our large language model? But we really need to go to data and start with this data discovery. So a big part of that discovery is uh, making sense of unstructured data. So any organization have unstructured data and you need to understand what are the intents, the classifications, what are people talking about in your um, in that unstructured data. So the data discovery is very important and a high level of data discovery is really uh, a visual inspection. So where you have a visual tool where you can inspect data um, in a latent space um, where you can see different patterns, different signals, strong and weak signals within your data via a visual, visual rep rep representation. Um, it's, you know, starting with a visual representation uh, really helps you to create uh, like uh, not, uh, you know, non-granular, um, you know, groupings of data. And from there you can drill down and create more granular, granular intents or classifications or, or groupings of data. So um, this project is really exciting. And I really think it's a, a good insight into, into what can be done. So you, you can see each of these dots uh, represent a, um, a chunk uh, for a RAG implementation. The regional query is given. Um, there are sub queries generated and then you will see the green are the um, retrieve chunks. And this can help you to see what your chunk distribution semantically and how you can optimize it. So just jumping into the application, if I, if you look at this example, I created a PDF, um, you know, with just uh, World War One information. I uploaded that um, PDF. I'll show you in a moment, and the process then chunks this document automatically and creates the vector um, embeddings and then um, um, creates this visual representation. Um, just back to the GitHub page, you will see these, uh, there are two options in terms of um, embedding models. Um, and in this case, I, I made use of um, the old mini uh, model, uh, not the ADA model. If you want to make use of the ADA model, then you need to um, obviously enter your open AI API key. Uh, so I did a search on the League of Nations um, at the bottom you will see my uh, the retrieve chunks related to that query. You can see my original query here. And if I hover, then you will see the the chunks that um, was retrieved um, related to my query. Just going back to where I upload the, the document. So it's a very simple interface. Um, I can browse here and, and add my, my PDF document. My document is, is added. There's currently a limit of 200 meg. What will be great future developments if you can upload different formats of data, not just PDFs, CSV um, files or any other files. I can set my chunk size. Um, again, let me just make it 400. I can set my chunk overlap. I can select my model here and then I can start the build process. So depending on your um, data size, you know, that will determine how long your the process takes of creating the chunks um, and creating the embeddings. Just something to add is that um, this is a streamlit application. So it's really easy to create your own streamlit um, instance from the GitHub repository. So here I have my, my chunks all displayed. If I hover again, I can see the wording in those actual, actual chunks. And then I can 
ask a question in this case let me just type in poison gas and say search and there it retrieved my my five um, chunks based on my query and the the green chunks are the retrieved ones and obviously uh, all the others the non-retrieved ones are all all blue so any questions comments uh, you're welcome to ask me and I can try and help you get going with this project.